This um, video is for the um, learners who are on my skin lesion recognition course. So I've placed this on my uh, main um, YouTube channel I, and I probably do need to create a new one specifically for the course that I run. Uh, this is not for my usual uh, subscribers, this is for people and they know who they are on the South Coast Dermoscopy um, course. And this is just a little tutorial um, how to um, uh, crop a picture. Right, here's the picture in, in question, there's a cursor there. Um, and it's, you see it's 1.7 uh, four megabytes. I've downloaded the system with Erfan View, which is this thing, Erfan View. It's, which is, I, I mainly got this in order to be able to um, to put um, uh, text into it. So, for example, what I, I, I do, uh, I put um, my name in uh, so the copyright the thing. But I'm just going to undo that. Um, and close the picture. Now this is a, a picture, let's just adjust that a little bit better. Um, it's, um, it's not going to be ideal, but sort of getting on for reasonable. Okay, so here's an image, and it's 1.7 um, megabytes, and it's a, it's a dermoscopic image of a, of a, a benign nevus, actually. And am I going to send it out like this? No, I'm not. I want to reduce the size of it, and I want to crop it. So let's show you how to do that. Now I'm going to close this. I'm going to open this with um, the default uh, thing, which is um, Windows um, Image uh, thing. Okay, so it, it, scroll down to, I'm going to right-click on that. It's taking you right through the basics, so it's assuming no knowledge at all. Do, um, do I'm going to right-click. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, that's a left-click. i done that wrong. Um, I right-click there menu, scroll down to open with, okay, box comes up, I'm not going to use that, uh, you couldn't use it, but that's the uh, one I downloaded, uh, I'm going to use the, the Windows Office Picture Manager, uh, you've probably all got that if you've got PC, there are, there's other systems that will do it, but I'm opening this now, Win Windows Picture Office Manager, okay, now up here, uh, if I get that correct, if I get it right, um, uh, up here we've got um, edit pictures, it's interesting, I'll just show this, autocorrect, that's quite interesting, now that's um, made the image immediately brighter, uh, autocorrect, and in fact that's, I think that's a little bit of an improvement actually. But I'm going to undo that, I'm just going to click on the undo button and go back. Because so, what I'm going to do is crop, crop this. Now edit pictures, left click on edit pictures, now this menu comes up here. Uh, so I'm just going to go to crop. Right, and then you'll see that these um, uh, black bars come up. Forgive me if this is very, very simple. Um, you know, some of you will really know this already. Others won't. So I'm just going to left click on that with the cursor and just pull that down. If you do this correctly, you only need to make two moves. Right, so um, I've cropped it from there. In the top right hand corner, I'm going to crop it from the bottom left hand corner. Um, and that's about right. If you want to, you could fiddle around a bit more. And of course, click on the OK. Click on OK. This still has to be saved. Now, I'll show you something very important. If you want to keep the original picture, and you probably do, um, then when you come to save this, you'll want to do save as. And that's up here, the file menu, um, save. If you just click save, then it saves this, and you lose the other one. If you click save as, then you've got to give it a new name. I'll do that in a moment, because I'll do something else first. You click save as, then you give this a new name. It'll save this with the new name and it will also keep the previous one. If you just click save, if you just click save, it will save the cropped and edited version but you will lose the original. I would suggest that you don't want to lose the original. So when you crop something for whatever legitimate reason, usually to make it smaller to center of the post, um, then uh, uh, that's what you want to do. So, uh, so click save as, you'll store both images. Okay, but we're not through finishing, we're not through with this yet. Uh, I'm going to click on again on edit, right click on edit pictures. Yeah, let's right click edit pictures. I'm, I'm, right, I'm really delivering this at the level of the person who's never done this before. So pardon me if it's extremely basic. Um, okay, so we've already cropped it, so I'm going to crop it again. So I'm clicking on resize, okay, on the menu, resize. Resize. Now this offers you a number of um, choices. What I tend to do is go for percentage. It's nice and easy. This is what I always do. Click on percentage. And I usually do something here which is fairly rough and ready. Um, for the sake of argument, I'm going to do 40 here. 
Bear in mind, until the moment that you've actually finally saved this, you can always undo it and go back and do it again. You know, the undo button uh, is have this little circle pointing backwards. If you do that, if you click on that, left click on that, you'll always go back to where you were before um, until you are saved. Right, so we're going to click on OK. So that's actually shrunk that down a little bit. I'll just do that. I'm just going to show you. I'll just do that again. Just do it. go for the undo. Right in here, 40. And if you look at the image when I click on OK, so it's actually shrunk it down a bit. Right, so what I'm going to do now is save as. File, scroll down, save as, give it a meaningful name. Um, I'm going to write here um, dark mole. Crop, dark mole crop, and save. So that's been saved. And I could do some more manipulation if I like. I'm going to just hit on auto correct there. That's made it a lot brighter. I'm not sure I like that, but sometimes it can be helpful. Sometimes it can show you features you can't see. Um, I don't want to tell a lot about this particular mole. I'm just talking purely about editing here. And there's another thing you can do again, click on edit pictures again. Uh, brightness and contrast, this can be quite a handy thing to do, brightness and contrast. And here you've got these um, levers you can move up and down. I'll just show what they can do. There, I'm going to put black in it so it's completely useless. And uh, the other extreme, it whites it so it's completely useless. But sometimes fiddling this a little bit to and fro, uh, and I'm just going to mess with the contrast now. Sometimes it can make certain features of the dermatological image clearer. If you can see some nice network there, you can also see some perifollicular hypopigmentation. Um, but that's that's not really so significant. Okay, when you finish fiddling with all this, um, you can then click on save. Uh, it's okay now to click on save because I've already saved this as. I've saved as and given it a name. Okay. Does that all make sense? So again, just to go over it again. Um, there we are, there's the black mole cropped. That's the thing saved as a... So when I'm sending images out, I tend to reduce them in size um, because, it, you, you, because you can, and because if you send too much out, it, it, clogs up the, um, it clogs up your inbox. As some of you on the course are probably already beginning to get messages, uh, certainly if you're on NHS net to tell you that your inbox is getting a bit full you need to reduce some of it. The way to do that is to, is to go through and, um, and co cut, not copy, co cut and paste uh, these images onto a folder in the, um, uh, the memory stick that you have for the course. Okay, so I hope that's all fairly straightforward. Um, uh, I may later decide to open up a proper YouTube channel um, uh, but for the moment, uh, you know, for the course, but for, uh, which I'll, I'll just uh, um, draw to the attention of people who are doing the course. Um, but uh, for the time being, this is just simply um, a little tutorial uh, on how to use the uh, Windows Office Picture Manager to crop and uh, resize images, which if you're sending them by email is a good idea, because if you send, you know, big images, you know, three, four megabyte images, uh, Google... Um, groups won't let you send them and it just clogs up the inbox when you should. Okay, over and out.